everyone! Welcome to a new video! This is actually one of Team Termite's first official resource pack releases. So, a few months ago I had the idea of making a resource pack that made it possible to have it always snowing in-game, just to have a more wintry feeling. Only issue is, I didn't know where to start to make this pack. Then I remembered I had a friend from Cubecraft named Ambient that has recently been marked on the spot for making packs. Not just any kinds of packs though, but packs that add extra crit particles, and packs with Java Edition animations. Patar HD himself even reviewed these packs. So I asked her for some help on this pack, and we worked together on it. So before we start, I want to give a very special thank you and huge shout out to Ambient, who I will link in the description, for helping me make this pack. Without her help, this pack wouldn't be possible. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Winter Weather by Ambient and Related Noobs. This pack is filled with some interesting tweaks and changes. We didn't want to just simply add snow animations and release the pack. By the way, we made snowing Bruh. animations. But we wanted it to look as wintry as possible. How did we do this? Well, first thing you may notice is we changed the sky to grey to get that snowstorm feeling. We also added fog to make it cloudy like a real snowstorm. This way you truly feel like you are in some ice cold typical Canadian winter. <laughs> this pack comes with two sub packs one for single player, and one for multiplayer. The single player option is the default option, with regular particle count and more fog. This feels a lot more like a snowstorm and looks nice too. If it looks nice, why do you need a second sub pack you might ask? Yeah. So how snow particles work in Minecraft is the particles make a huge dome around the player. Unfortunately though, when you play on worlds with multiple people or entities in a small space, this means this dome gets created around every single player or entity. Basically meaning, if you are in a Cubecraft lobby with 60 people, for example, your game will render <laughs> 60 times the amount of particles. Once we saw this issue, we decided to make a multiplayer subpack that you can enable. This reduces and caps the particle count drastically, to make sure you don't lose too many frames. Be warned lower end PC users, this pack can cause lag due to particles, and unfortunately we are unable to fix the lag for you, so please do not send hate if this pack makes you lose frames. One last thing for the multiplayer subpack, we lowered the fog so you can actually see the map. This will make for better minigame and PvP experience on online multiplayer servers like Hive and Cubecraft. I understand some people want to use this pack with other texture packs, just make sure you put the pack at the top. We also made it so the snow particle is the only particle that changes when this sub pack is on, meaning it won't interfere with any other particle textures if you are using another texture pack beneath it. The download for this pack will be in the description. I originally wanted to call this pack Canada, but we went with something different. I want to give a huge thanks to Ambient for helping me make this pack once again, I'll leave her channel in the description also. Be sure to check her out once again. If you want to review this pack or use this pack, please either link this video my channel, or Ambient's channel. It's the least you could do and it would be greatly appreciated. Until next time everyone, and enjoy some winter weather. 